Howdy folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. <laughs> Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Bonaparte, Bonaparte agrees. Yeah, he, he will testify to anything. Yeah. <laughs> you okay, posterior tibialis, tendonitis, three of the best treatments for it. Okay, okay. sounds good. I'll put that word down below, or those words down below so people know what we're talking about. Sure, we just did a video on the anatomy of it and how to test for it. Yeah, I'll link that right here. Okay, so we know that, we have it, and now how are you going to treat it? First thing you're going to do, it's going to be sore when you walk or you run, so you're going to rest it's gonna it. It's going to be sore right in here. Right. You're going to rest it, ice it, those types of things. Ice right on here. Right, 15 to 20 minutes. One okay. thing you can try, this is not a treatment, but it will help possibly is get an insert for your shoe, a cushioned arch insert that, that feels comfortable. And you'll know if it's the right thing to do because when you put it on and you walk, it makes the pain go down. It may only 20 to 50% and you're gonna use that. If and I would probably not even try a custom made one. I no. would just do one right off the shelf right. and try to find one that fits pretty well. Right, I use Zeus Benco's, I think that that's a good, but you don't have, whatever works for you. Sure. Um, they're 20 to $30. All right, if you don't want to do that, you can, but you don't have to. You can go into the treatment of, of the tibia or of the tendon itself. One thing you can do if you've had it for a few days or a week and there's already some scar tissue in there, you want to use our cross-friction massage. We've got a lot of videos with a lot of positive cross fiber feedback. friction massage. There you go. And here's the tendon. So we're going to go across this direction. Yep. You're going to get in there with your fingers, and you're going to push down relatively hard to get in. Now, there's some bones right in there, so you're not going to grind the tendon over the bone. So you're right. going to use your good judgment on that and work over that. And after about 30 seconds, it should start to feel either numb or feel better. Right. If it's getting worse after 30 seconds to a minute, then you need to back off and ice for a while. Right. Then. It needs more time. It's a, it's a real focal massage, I mean really localized right. massage, you're really working you know, very specific to one small area. Exactly. And like Brad said, after 30 seconds to a minute, it actually like you said, because it's getting numb or it's getting a little bit better, right. that's a good sign. That's, that's a... Then you're going to keep going for another three to five minutes sure. as long as your fingers can hold up and like our mentor, one of our mentors, Syriac, says you can go up to 20 minutes, but your fingers are probably not going to last Right, and I don't know that he would recommend 20 minutes on this type of area. He sure. It was more different areas. I, I think the three to five minutes is a, a good, okay. safe, Super. safe bed. So. And the other thing is the muscle belly up here, if that muscle's real tight and holding tension on this all the time and not giving it a chance to relax and get circulation, you can work a deep massage on the muscle belly up here itself. Sure. Okay. And, and you're you gonna, can do that yourself. You yep. can go in here like this, and you, you can bet. also do this massage by yourself. Again, you're going across the tendon, but the massage is right in the muscle itself. Right, and you're going to get deep because this muscle is deep. It's not the big gastroc muscle, so you're going to get in below that. Yeah, yeah. And you're going to so. work that for five minutes or so as well, as long as you can you can hold it. Okay. And then you're going to do a stretch, right? Oh, absolutely. What stretches are going to be? You're going to do. The stretch like this. If you have an incline board, that's the ideal thing. Right. Um, can I maybe go this way, Brad? I can sure. Hold on. Yep. Lonnie, you do can it. Can you see this? Oh, this so is stretching. nice. I'm yep. stretching Bring the that back right one. down here. Look at that nice leg. Ha, so. <laughs> ha, ha. Anyways, the stretch is here. Now, you're going to do this gently. It shouldn't, if you get sharp pain with it, it's way too early. This is later on in the rehab. You're going to stretch that gently. But you want to show what I'm doing with my knee, Brad? I'm not like this. Right. I'm not straight. Good point, Bob. I'm actually bent. Right. And that isolates the posterior tib muscle. If you go straight, it works on the gas track. We're not going to get into yeah. that. Just remember, bend it. See what you can on getting the heel to the floor. And you're going to hold it 30 seconds a minute or even longer than that if tolerated and, and depending on how it feels. Okay, now as it progresses and starting to feel better, you want to strengthen it. Why don't you have a seat, Bob? Sure. <sighs> because this muscle actually pulls up and inverts the, the foot, the two ways you can strengthen it is number one, why don't you stand again, Bob? I'm okay. sorry, sorry to make you going up and down. It's just simply two feet toe up, just oh. like the test. Okay. But you're going to use both feet and you're going to put as much weight as you need through the good foot and only work this one as tolerated. And you okay. do 10 to 15. So you might want to hold on to a chair even a chair little bit. Chair or a cane. How many well, of these are you going to do? 10 to 15. Okay. And by that time, it should be feeling fatigued. <laughs> oh, you almost tipped over, huh, Yes, Bob? I did. Okay. And I'll sit down. Okay. The next one is, because this muscle pulls the foot inward like this, 
you have some resistance, you would have a put a TheraBand around here and a my, stretch band. Stretch band, TheraBand, you're gonna push in. My hand represents that, so I'm giving some resistance. And you could do this, you know, if you've got a loving wife that wants to help you out, she could do just what I'm doing there. Well, could you do it yourself even? You could do it yourself as resistance if you don't have a TheraBand. If you're like me and really like to be frugal, yeah. this works. It just sure. takes a little more effort. Okay, but the toe-up one is really nice. It's direct, it's right. more, more functional. Exactly, yeah. weight-bearing. So I'm thinking this Close is, chain. yeah, these are nice exercises to get that posterior tip back into the running of the walking game. And again, we can fix just about anything in the human body, but what? We can't fix a broken heart. Right, but look at the size of that heart bone on uh -huh. our heart. And you know, if that ever gets broken, we're gonna fix you we're up in well. Trouble, buddy. Yeah. All yeah. right. Thanks Take for care. watching.